Hello everybody and welcome to a small video just to help those like me who wanted to play some Sims 2 ended up having to uninstall Origin, uh, well replace Origin with an EA app and then the game didn't work. And I imagine this might help for other games. Uh, when the issue happened with me I looked online, looked around some forums etc and I eventually found a very easy fix. I don't know if this fix will work for everybody, or for every game, but it is what worked for me, and I want to at least show you guys how it works for me uh, in visual form, because it's a lot easier. And also, because my channel is about Sims 2, and I'll, you're forced to use Origin, sorry, now the EA app, for The Sims 2, this is what I did to fix it. First of all, the thing I started with, which I don't know if you have to do, because it's not really, um, it didn't fix the issue, was I reinstalled the game. I didn't, I don't know if that worked, but it's done. And then I found this fix, which is um, running as administrator. Now it's very weird. I got this one here, this uh, EA launcher icon here, but I've also found the five folders to show you. Uh, to yeah, you have to make your way to the EA folder uh, where the program is installed, not the game. Well, you do need the game as well, but first the program. And essentially, if you have the app on your uh, PC, you can click on it here or go find the installation, which might typically be in your program files, Electronic Arts, EA Desktop, or just go to Properties on the icon, Open File Location, and it shows you it here. I'll just get rid of that now. And what I, the, this, the simple thing I had to do was, uh, and I don't know why the icons change, you have to find EA Desktop XE, which if you're on Windows 10, it'll be like application here. I don't know why the icons changed, but it would be like this EA icon, EA Desktop dot XE or just application. But what you open to open the app, right click, properties, then you'll see compatibility. And this would be unticked, this run program as administrator. But now it does. So you tick that, apply, okay. And then I would uh, send that to the desktop. So I don't need that anymore. I've already done that, but yeah. Uh, and then you'll go to the game. So if the game's already, in fact, let me close this and bring mine over. If the game's been installed, you'll have the folder here and you can do the exact same thing. Right click, properties, open file location. And it'll take you to the application file here or you can find it yourself again and as you can see along the top here you go into the game files if you're on ultimate collection which is the whole point of this i don't know why i said that you go with fun with pets sp9 uh tsb and it actually says it up here and you find it right there and then you right click that properties compatibility run program as administrator again i've already had it ticked and then you send that to the desktop, or you can just do it here. I do it either way. You can just do it right there. You don't have to open the file, but some people might have different files for it. Anyway, yes, yes, whatever. So apply, complete, and essentially that this little shield will pop up. So with that, that is how it opens up. Uh, what I used to do with Origin, I don't know if it matters, you can try restarting your computer, try closing the EA app, because it will try and stay there, because it's a bugger, close it, make sure it's ended, then open up again. But that's how it worked, it just went straight away for me. If you have reinstalled the game, obviously make sure you back up your save files first. Uh, though reinstall mine didn't delete the save files, but just be safe, things can be weird, corrupts can happen. And yeah, very simple little quick video of how I fixed it. And I hope it helps you guys too. Because it's been a couple of months since I've played Sims 2 and I want to play Sims 2. I don't want EA trying to stop me. So I'll see you guys later. Bye 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 bye.